Hey guys, and welcome back to Splatoon. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and jump into level 13 shifting Splatforms Midnight Rendezvous. So here we go. Yeah. So between the last episode and this episode, I managed to play so much online mode of Splatoon. So I feel like I'm a lot better at the game since uh, I last recorded. It's been about a week since I last recorded uh, the last four episodes or so. Because yeah, I usually record a lot in a sitting, which four isn't really that much. But for the first time recording in like a new place, it was more than I expected. <laughs> I guess because I'm not really used to recording when I'm, you know, unable to sit on like a desk or a chair or anything. And I'm currently in that situation where I have to um, sit on a uh, like patio type chair and my monitor is literally on a desk. Or not on a desk. I wish it was on a desk. I want it to be on a desk. It'd make more sense if it was, but it's on a box. A box I use to move stuff around from one apartment to another. So yeah. But this is Midnight Rendezvous, or it was called Shifting Splatforms or whatever. I like how each uh, level has its own title to it. And I really like the way this place looks, because we're inside this glass space thing, and uh, this is a level I've never played before, because I only played like the first 10 levels of the game, or I think even less than that. So from here on out, it's completely blind, which is exciting, because this game is really fun. Um, but like I said, I played a lot of online multiplayer, or I guess uh, just online, because I mean it is multiplayer. You know, you're playing with teams and going up against teams and stuff and whatnot, and uh, it's really fun. Like I love the uh, online mode. I think the game is based off of the online mode, of course. So you know, maybe that's why it's so fun. They kind of focused on that quite a bit when making it. But yeah, I feel a lot better the game itself because it definitely improves your general skills because you're going against actual people instead of the AI of the game which is pretty lousy um, so you know I feel more confident when playing this game at least going against enemies and stuff and hopefully I'll do well I'm currently level 15 uh, in my in my campaign I guess and is this the uh, I was really hoping that would have been the scroll I have to actually keep an eye out for the scroll did I skip it could have I skipped it wouldn't be there, would it? Wait, it's back there. No, okay, whatever. Let's keep going, because we gotta collect all the scrolls, of course. Actually, it might be over here, because I see a secret, and they're not really good with secrets, are they? Ah, it is a scroll. <laughs> it's weird how you can just tell, you know, this is Nintendo for ya. It's too obvious when they're gonna keep a secret. Maybe because I played so much Zelda, I got used to it or something. I don't know. But, yeah, back to what I was saying, I played a lot of online. Um, that's pretty much all I've been doing for the past week, like every time I, I get a chance to play because I don't really like sitting on my computer, uh, and that's because I didn't have a desk or a computer chair or anything, I'm kind of waiting to, to get that stuff to come in the mail and, and stuff like that, so it, yeah, uh, it's really annoying, but, you know, Whatever I do, like every time I'm bored, I just decide to play this game. So I made it to level 15 currently because it takes a long time to level up, but it's really fun. And I want to hit level 20 before I decide to make videos uh, of online multiplayer because I feel like, uh, you know, it just make more sense for me at to, to be at the level cap of the game, which is level 20. Uh, it doesn't really matter when playing against people online. You may say, oh, you know. Uh, being level 20 will give you all of the good weapons and perks and stuff. That's true, but they did a really good game to balance. Like, they did a really good job balancing the game. Like, even if I'm level 1, I can destroy a level 20 if he's not good at the game. Like, uh, it's all about skill. And that's what I love. So, once I hit level 20, even if I go against a, a bunch of level 1s, if they, are act if they actually know how to play the game, then they can still kick my butt. You know? And that's what I like about this game is the fairness on online, but, I mean, this game is kind of like a children's game, you know, it's really cartoony, I mean, it's called Splatoon, the tune, uh, you know, cartoon, I don't know, I don't really think that's the point, but, uh, there's a lot of kids that play it, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can't assure you that, but there's, there's a lot of people I go up against that can't really, like, hold a controller, I can only assume, because they're so bad at the game. Unless they're lagging like crazy, that might be the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these levels just like this by using the gamepad to warp to the level, because yeah, I already opened up every single uh, level on accident looking for the previous levels 
uh, which I believe was in the last episode. So let's go ahead and jump into level 14. I didn't even get a chance to read that title, but I believe it will show off here. Uh, hey, wait, whoa, wait a second. This looks really cool, but this is the Octoling Assault. So, oh, we're gonna have to fight some Octolings. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be, it's gonna be scary, but we can follow the stuff. Also, I need to look for the, um... Oh, this level's literally a level you play on online mode. An online multiplayer. Sweet! It's literally the exact level, but they blocked off some areas. That's so cool. So I know this area pretty well, unless they changed it a bit where, um, you know, they kind of extended it. Yeah, it looks like they did extend it. Okay. But, yeah, these guys are, I was going to say they're really easy because I'm used to playing against actual people, but as you saw, I just got my butt handed to me by, by this little fella here. So there we go, we killed him, or killed her in her squid form. It's octolings that become squid. I don't know how that works because, uh, you know, they are transforming into what I am, and that's kind of weird, but let's go. But yeah, a lot of people are really aggressive in this game. Like, everyone I go up against online, they are not afraid. And I think that's how you have to play the game. You have to just go in. I hate going against people with rollers, because boy, do does it suck to get splatted by a roller. If you play online, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a feeling that kind of gets annoying. But let's go ahead and check over here and see if there's any secret. No, all right. But yeah, that's my general focus when jumping into any of these levels. I want to make sure I can find all of the uh, the scrolls. And once I find the scrolls, it becomes really straightforward. But yeah, I don't think this is the weapon I want to use because I can't really spam it. Actually, I think I killed him. Or er, 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 her, or whatever. Are they only uh, female octoling things? All right, come here. There we go. Let's go down and ha! There we go. Alright, this might be it. Nope. More protection, which I don't mind. I'll take whatever armor I can get, to be honest. Well, let's get going. But I'm not gonna go yet, actually. I just realized I should keep searching here, because there might be the secret I'm looking for. <gasps> it's a scroll! Yay! Good thing I kept searching. See, I got the right mind. You know, the right mindset to look for everything. Wait, that's it. Okay, so it's not like... It's not like we were going to be able to uh, not come back if I saw the zapfish. I would have just, you know, walked back and kept searching. But yeah, there we go. Next level completed. That was a really stinking short level. All right, the other level we have open is 15. I opened it on accident. Let's go ahead and hit back. Don't want to read any of these yet. Let's jump straight to level 15. The undeniable flying object. Uh-oh. I'm afraid. Because this might be... Might be tough. All right, here we go. Oh, it's this guy, the Octo Striker. Wait, is it just... Oh, we have to avoid him. God dang it. All right, let's go. This is also based off of a uh, online multiplayer level. So, yeah. But he does he does literally uh, an attack The that can be used online. So, yeah. And a lot of the stuff I realize in single player is... Uh, just stuff that you do online, like, I guess they just reused a lot of elements and stuff like that, which makes sense. I mean, I don't know which, which way it goes, you know, it might be the other way around where a lot of the online multiplayer is just stuff from single player. Uh, either way, it's this. Oh my god, I literally walked into that. Oh wait, but luckily we had that. Okay, sweet. Go ahead and explode this. Get up here, get on that, side up. Alright. Just trying my best to find the secret. Wait, oh! That was it! Wow, that was way too easy to find the scroll. Dang, okay. No, 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 no! Okay, that was really close. Alright. And I don't want to do that. No, no, no! Why'd I do that? I literally said I don't want to do that, and then I did it. Like an idiot. Do okay, we have to re-grab the scroll. Uh-oh. Okay, just wait here. Explode. Run. This is what's difficult, because you can't hide from his little tornado thingies that he's going to do, because you're a squid. Or you're not a squid, you're a kid. And that's a bad thing. So, yeah. 
Alright. Jump. I walked into that one too, but at least I literally activated. I didn't activate the checkpoint. Wow, that's bull. Alright. For some reason, these are like the levels that give me the most trouble. I'm gonna have to fight against that giant octo thing. Alright, here we go. Whee! Go, 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 go. Well, it's still attacking me. Run. Hit that. Jump. Get another checkpoint. That wasn't a checkpoint, but I need to get a checkpoint soon. All right, please tell me this is a checkpoint. If it's a checkpoint, I get an extra life, I'm pretty sure. Either way, I t okay, yeah, we did. Final checkpoint. All right, here we go. Ah! Go, 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 go. Attack him. Run. Come on, I said I got good at this game from online. I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, I feel more confident when playing this game. It's not nearly as difficult because I'm used to fighting actual people. And I guess now it's showing. I was able to kill him. Maybe. I don't know. You, let me know if it feels like I've gotten any better since the last episode. Gameplay-wise, I don't think I have. <laughs> Honestly. I guess because the, the online is way different than solo uh, campaign. So maybe I'll show that off when I do do online multiplayer videos, which I will eventually do once I hit level 20, and I guess just beat the game. I want to first beat the main story, so yeah. Can I warp to the boss? No, I first have to walk to the boss. Like, open up the kettle. The boss kettle, so let's do that. But yeah, the boss awaits, which is exciting. So we're already done with another zone. A world, or whatever they call it. I think they're called zones. I'm actually not too sure, but... It's good to know that we're making a lot of progress so fast. When I first considered Let's Playing this game, I was like, I'm gonna do, um, one mission a a an episode, and then I realized how dumb that would be, because, yeah, these are really short, but let's go ahead and open up this, and, alright, so roll out with punches. Here we go, the boss kebble, kebble, what, kebble, kettle, can't speak for some reason, it's really light, guys, you know, I'm gonna just say that. And, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Oops. Okay, that's another thing with playing online. You're supposed to cover as much turf as you can, and, uh, yeah, for some reason it's just, like, second nature. I just thought I had to do that, but I don't. And I have a feeling this is going to be, like, a clam-type thing. An octo-clam. Or not, maybe? Oh, it's like, oh, it's running out of, like, Sheldon or whatever. The Pokemon. I've, I don't know the name, to be honest, because I don't play Pokemon as much as I should, you know? I used to play Pokemon a lot when I was really young, but then I completely stopped. Like, as of recent. Like, I haven't played Ruby and Sapphire. I, I, uh, the remake. I'd say that's the first Pokemon game where I haven't played. Like, I haven't got unreleased and actually played. Alright, whoa! How do you fight this guy? What is going on? Okay, so... Do I hit him? Wait, what the heck? Oh, there we go. I don't know how this works. Alright, and we just jump back. Alright, whatever. Guess we'll figure out as we go on. But I was able to hit him once, so I'll take it. And I didn't get hit back either, so that's good. Alright, there we go. Seems more furious. I like how the whole map... Oh, snap. Whole map changes. Alright, so what I need to do maybe is hit him to slip him off or something. Let's try throwing something at him. What do you do? Alright, come here. Ah! What? What is this? Yeah, I have no idea how I hit him the first time, so this is gonna be hard. Do I have to get him to hit the center of the stage? Did it work? Oh, it worked. I don't know what I did, but it worked, so there we go. Second hit down. Alright, the final one. I don't know if the whole boss battle resets if you get hit. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. We'll figure out. Yeah, hopefully this video isn't nearly as echo-ish as the previous four. Because <laughs> it was... Oh! Okay. Oh, no, you know what? I just realized. I need to make a platform for him to roll on so he falls into it. So there we go. Come here. Alright, that works, right? Kind of. I think. Let's make it bigger. Alright, uh... There you go, this should work. I have a feeling it will. I, if it doesn't, it's whatever. Alright, ah! And it worked. Hit him, and... Kaboom. You are done. I like how he jumps away still, even though we're done. And I'm getting hurt by the purple... 
uh, ink that I'm standing on. Count. I always want to say paint, but I know it's ink, even though it's pretty much like the same thing. <laughs> but whatever they call it, ink. So yeah, because we're inklings. There we go. We got the scroll. Or the scroll actually gives you a weapon, and it doesn't give you something to read like the all the other ones. So it's not really much of a scroll, if anything. So. Yeah, I didn't really know, but that's what someone said in the comments. But there we go. So we're Ancient 3. Um, someone also left a comment that was a pretty big spoiler, but I now know who Agent 1 and 2 is. There we go. He's talking about, so once we're all assembled, I'll bake some crabby cake. Cuddle, cuddle fish. Oh, no, you can't be. Yes, uh, music. Wait. Yar. Stop. No. Wait, what's going on? Is he getting attacked? What just happened? Either way, we finished up that. Oh, it is text? I guess I was wrong. Or something. Maybe the first couple bosses gave it to me? I have no idea. Either way, this will now explode because we got so much electricity that... Yeah, I, I have no idea how this makes sense. Either way, we're just... We're getting all the stuff back, so yeah. Um, but there we go. So we completed up another, another world, another zone, and let's get going to the next one. I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it, though. Let's see. Is this how you're supposed to do it? Well, this is, no, this is opening up. Oh, this is it, right? This is it. There we go. A new zone has opened up. Sweet guys. We did it. I did it. I don't know. But I guess I'm going to end off the episode here. And in the next one, we shall jump into level. See if we can find it. It's going to be level 15 or 16. Um, it'll be somewhere. <laughs> I guess I'll look for it off screen. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, uh, be sure to leave a like. And next time, we're going to keep playing this game and hopefully actually find out where the next level is. I'll see you all then. Bye!